Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your love reading for March 2019. This is a little bit different than the last one if you watched the last one. This is a new approach. This is for what is going on with your person of interest, your love interest. Maybe you're wondering what's going through their head, what's in their mind. You could be in a relationship, you could be dating, you could have a crush on somebody. Um, it could be in separation right now. Maybe you're on a little break. Any situation, we're going to see what comes out and take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. That's what I always say. And uh, here for the first deck, of course, we're going to see what um, element, sign, or planet energy you may be dealing with. With the Romance Angels, we're going to see how they are feeling. With the Lover's Oracle, we're going to see what they are thinking, what they would want to tell you, what's going through their mind. Um, with the Angel Answers, will there be any sort of action towards you in any way or in the connection? And then with this deck, this is the Life Purpose deck, we're going to see what their blockages are or what they need to work on. With the um, Chakra Oracle here, we're going to see what you need to understand about the connection what you may need to know about them. And then with the Crystal Visions Tarot, I'll pull about one or maybe two tarot for each card to give a little bit of clarity on each one. So it looks uh, overwhelming, but I promise you it's not. It'll go relatively quickly. And I hope you like this spread and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please comment. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. If you like how I read, be greatly, greatly appreciated. As you know, my channel is fairly new, so I'm looking to grow and flourish so I can help more people, get these messages out to the people that need to hear them, to give them insight and clarity and guidance so they can make decisions in their life. So please do that. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the bell for notifications. You'll be notified when I post a new video, a new reading. Um, if you do not resonate with this, you can watch other signs in your chart. If you know um, the signs in your chart, in your natal chart, cross watches are welcome. If you're dealing with a cancer and you want to see what's going on for them, you're more than welcome to watch. And this message may actually be for you instead. So it may or may not resonate with every single person out there. Like I said, take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. Nothing is set in stone. So so please keep that in mind. And we may even pick up for you uh, energies of past things or now or future. So please keep that in mind also. Okay, so we're going to get started here, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I love doing this for you guys. Please check the description box below for the decks I'm using, information on personal readings, my email, my Etsy page. My PayPal link is there if you wish to donate or tip. It's very, very much greatly appreciated. So thank you for that. Okay. Hit the thumbs up. Get these circulated so other cancer people can get the insight, guidance, clarity they may need. It's the only way YouTube will circulate them is if they have uh, lights. So it's greatly appreciated. Okay, so we're going to see here what sign, element, planet, energy you may be dealing with. And if you're not, that's totally fine. We'll just throw that part out. So, Spirit, can we have one card for Cancer for the month of March 2019 for their love interest? What is going on with their love interest? Who are they dealing with or who may they be dealing with please can we have one card oh, there we go taurus earth so water and earth so some of you may be dealing with the taurus like i said if you're not then throw that part out maybe they could just have taurus in their chart heavily in their chart if you know their chart at all so okay so now we have the romance angels and we're going to see here how your person is feeling about the connection how they're feeling about you with the romance angels so for the sign of cancer for march 2019 spirit please can we have one card what is cancer's love interest or their person of interest 
feeling about the connection, feeling about cancer. We have one card, please, Spirit. One card. One card. There we go. Whoop. Wrong one on the floor. But I caught it. Wow, Cancer engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And it doesn't necessarily mean an actual physical ring engagement. It could just be taking things to the next level. It can be a first date. Anything like that. So keep that in mind. Unless you'll, you're thinking there may be a proposal, then this is telling you that it may happen sometime in the future. Maybe in March. Maybe on St. Patrick's Day. I just got that message. Are one of you Irish and St. Patrick's is a big day for you? I don't know. I just got that message from Spirit. Okay, so can we have one card here? This is the Lover's Oracle, and we're going to see... Uh, how they are thinking, what they would want to tell you, what's going through their mind, a message, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. So maybe they think of you as a very playful, happy person. When you're together, you have a lot of laughter and joy and happy times. Maybe you're a very outgoing person and they just love being around you. lot of laughter together uh, I'm getting horsing around and like teasing each other and chasing each other I don't this is the messages I'm getting <laughs> teasing chasing like little kids and just being silly making fun of each other in a good way not in a bad way okay so so if you're in a relationship and maybe, I don't know, if things are good, then I don't know why you're here watching this, but maybe you just need confirmation of how they are really actually feeling for some reason. I don't know. Or maybe you're wondering if uh, they may propose to you and you're looking for some clarity. I don't know. We'll see. So these are the angel answers. We're going to see, will there be any action towards cancer from the person of interest, from their love connection, their love interest, the month of March, 2019. And it's so funny, I was led to use this deck because it's green and St. Patrick's Day. I don't know, that just came to me from spirit. So we're gonna see when we get to that deck, what we get. Okay, from the angel answers. Can we have one card? Will there be any action towards cancer from their love interest? Okay, I'm not going to take a big clump, but on the top of this clump, we had no need to worry. But I'm going to put it back because I want one card. Spirit, can we have one card for the sign of cancer? For their love connection, their love interest, will this love interest take any action towards Cancer for the month of March 2019 in my spirit, please. <laughs> oh my god. You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's see though if they have any blockages. Wow. Wow, Cancer, you're going to have to let me know. Let me know in the comments if you watch this and you get a proposal next month. Please comment and let me know. Okay, and Taurus is an earth sign, and green represents earth. Just saying. March, St. Patrick's Day. So... Let's see if they have, this is for if they have any blockages or what's holding them back uh, right now. Maybe they want to propose right now and it's killing them to have to wait till March. I don't know, I just got that message. So, Spirit, can we have one card for Cancer for their love interest for March 2019 in love? I don't know. I'm not feeling that card. 
and we have one card for the love interest of cancer for march 2019 for their love connection their love interests too many is there any blockages what is holding them back right now do they have any blockages for cancer's love interest for the month of march 2019 can we have one card please one card spirit one card All right, I'm going to take this one since it kind of stayed on the table. Trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. But what I'm getting with that is they're just trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. I think they know that you're the one for them. And look, look how she's holding the sphere here and holding it here. So they're trusting their inner knowledge, their inner guidance, their intuition following their heart is what I'm getting so you're their dream the trusting their feelings to guide them maybe they had a hard time making the decision whether or not if they're if they're going to propose or maybe it's like I said going out on a first date or something coming up taking it to the next level maybe they were a little afraid to but they're I feel they're following their intuition, their higher knowing, and there will be a step forward next month because the answer is yes. Maybe they'll do it in a playful way. So however that resonates for you, whatever happens for you, please let me know in the comments. I would love, love, love to hear it. Okay, so this is what you need to understand about the connection, what you need to know. Uh, maybe some guidance. Maybe what you need to understand about them right now that you don't know. Okay. Get one card. Have to shuffle this way. It's a big deck. Can we get one card, Spirit? For the sign of Cancer. It's too many. For March 2019 for their love interest, their love connection. What is going on in this love connection? What do they need to know? What do they need to understand about their person, about this connection? Or their what is their guidance for the month of March 2019 in love in this love connection spirit, please? For cancer, can we have one card? One card, please. That's two. See, I only want one. I'm going to take the top one. And we have throat chakra. And that is about the throat. That is about speaking. That is about being truthful. That is being honest. So I think what you need to know is that they are very honest. They are an honest person. They speak their truths with clarity. And I think they will speak their truths when they do come forward. Whatever this is for you, what kind of engagement, a date, or just coming forward and speaking their truth. If they like you, they want to date with you. They see you as someone that's very fun and outgoing and playful and energy that they want to be around. So I feel like they really want to speak to you really bad if you're not speaking to this person. Okay, so this is the Crystal Visions Tarot. We're going to pull one or two for each card to bring in a little bit of clarity into the cards. One more shuffle. Spirit. Okay, what is this engagement about, Spirit, please? Got a few cards, or one card to clarify this engagement. What is this engagement card, please, for the sign of Cancer, for their love connection, their person of interest, for March 2019, in love with the collective of Cancers watching my channel, please, Spirit. Eight of Swords. Hmm. This air energy 
Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this is about being in your head, being in your mind. Can't get out of your own thoughts. So maybe... I think this is so caught up in their head about wanting to either ask you out or uh, putting this engagement together or whatever it is for you. Um, I think they, they're kind of like stressed out about it. Like they're running it through their mind over and over and over and over. How am I going to do this? How should I do this? How should I set it up? You know, I want it to be right. I don't want it to go wrong. I want it to be perfect. Kind of the energy I'm getting. Okay, so for playfulness, can we have one or two cards to clarify what is this playful about, please, Spirit? It's sign of Cancer for March 2019 for their love interest, their love connection. What do they need to know? We have one card or so to clarify playfulness. Actually, I think I'll take that one. Eight of Cups. So this is water. This could be you, Cancer. Uh, so this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is either walking away from something unfulfilling or you could be walking towards something that you're desiring and you're wanting, following your intuition. I almost get the feel of them wanting to walk towards you. Like, they're, like I said before, they're following their intuition their inner knowing, they know that they like you and they want to come forward to you. So I almost feel like even though she looks like she's walking away, or maybe they have walked away from something else and now they're coming towards you. I don't get the sense they're walking away. At all. Because you see, she's like in one direction and this one is going in the other direction. So I feel like maybe they've left something and now they're coming to you or something like that, if that makes any sense. Okay. So. This yes. What is this yes about? the action they're going to take? What kind of action are they going to take? Will this be an engagement or I'm feeling this one? Nine of Pentacles. So maybe, you know, you're definitely single, obviously. Um, Earth energy. So this could be their energy. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone who's very stable, who's done their hard work, who's abundant who's just reaping the uh, fruits of their labor. It's very strong and grounded and confident, dependable, hardworking. Who is um, fruitful. So, with the Nine of Pentacles for yes, all you need is one more pentacle, and you would have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the happy home, family, um, it's usually the marriage card. So maybe they're single and they just don't want to be single anymore. So, I mean, it could be an engagement, or like I said, a first date. But they're very strong and abundant. They're hardworking. They're honest and loyal, smart, fruitful and abundant, growth, expansion, very strong-willed. Okay. I don't know. For some reason, I want to pull one more. Feel like they really want to work on this they want they want to have the ten of pentacles okay this just fell out on the top and i don't usually take top cards but i'm being told to take it here's the ace of wands and look at the gem and the stone up here this is a brand new beginning it's passionate 
it's creative it's exciting so here's your new beginning so i mean yep they want this new beginning with you yep that's the yes whether it's just going out on a first date like i had said or actually proposing or you know just the next level of some sort of commitment here's your brand new passionate beginning with this person growth expansion creativity ideas fiery okay so for trust what is this trust card about thank you strength wow this is leo major arcana yeah they very very much feel very strongly about you and they're trusting that they're trusting the way they feel about how strongly they feel about you and maybe they also see you here as somebody very strong willed and stable and grounded and determined and passionate okay so throat chakra is the last card for what you need to understand about the connection about them that is about speaking being honest living your truths clarity communication so what is this throat chakra about please spirit can we have one card for the sign of cancer for this love connection for march 2019 please can we clarify throat chakra and feeling that one the devil okay so this is capricorn energy so this can speak of just very heavy passion excitement it also could talk about a little bit of negative things also like addictions obsessions and stuff like that but i just feel with the ace of wands here that they are so passionate and fiery about you i'm not saying it's not toxic it's just a very very deep heavy passionate connection for them also if it's not for you too it also can be a soulmate energy also with the devil um not that that can be a bad thing it just can be a very strong strong connection and you just have to be careful that it doesn't become toxic like you can't live without the other person you know you don't want it to get to the point where you feel like you would die without the other person you want to be independent support each other but also give each other freedom but also have that connection so you know things like codependency you don't want it to get into that realm so it could just be consuming them with the devil energy about how much they want to come forward and either propose or take you out or bring it to the next level um but i feel like whatever this is could be happening in march it's a very strong connection here and they're trusting that they know it so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck this is the nine of swords so this talks about uh stress anxiety being all up, being up all night with worry fear so you know maybe they're a little stressed out about the connection about what's going to happen what you say what you'll do if you'll accept it what they have to offer i think maybe it could be just stressing them out a little bit and then we have the hermit yeah so they're really going inside and reflecting this is virgo energy thinking contemplating about things um how are things going to go how should i do it trusting their instinct and their inner knowing and their gut feelings they really thought long and hard about this spent some time alone the night knight of pentacles oh wow wow i had just said here's the nine and you just need one more to make the ten and here's the knight of pentacles oh my god okay here's the knight of pentacles riding in very slowly maybe this has taken a long time to come into fruition but here he comes on his horse he's moving very slowly but here comes the offer with the pentacle to make it the nine and the ace you get the ten of pentacles and what's after the, that on the bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles and here he comes in with the brand new beginning a solid stable offer 
that's going to be long term. It's going to be in for the long haul. It's very sturdy, stable, and grounded. Growth, expansion, prosperity. Wow. Yep, there it is. Two, two new beginnings here on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Wow. You guys have got to let me know what this is for you guys. If it's an engagement or whatever it is, but wow. So good luck to you guys. Best of luck, and I hope things work out for you, and I hope this comes true for you. Um, looks good to me, so sending you many, many light, love, and blessings, and don't forget to shine your light.